Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so that means it's another what I eat in a day. I have a really fun video for you today. I have some new things to show you. We're going to go do a workout. I have a new pre-workout that I'm really excited about. I have tried it a couple of days now and I am loving it. So I wanna share that with you as well. It's just gonna be a really fun day. And I have a hearty, delicious, warm, cold night recipe for dinner. It's gonna be great. So make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do these What I Eat In A Days every single Wednesday so you don't wanna miss out. Of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy seeing What I Eat In A Day, getting good recipes, kind of a little day in the life. And of course, check out that description box down below where you're going to find tonight's dinner recipe. You are also going to find my nutrition coaching website so you can head on over. Have me at least figure your calories and macros. It's really important to kind of know where you should fall every day. I also offer group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, so check out my website. And lastly, in the description box are links and discount codes to everything I shared with you today, as well as everything I'm obsessed with. And of course, the link to head over and join us in my community on Facebook. It is such a wonderful, supported place to be. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in, guys. We have a busy day today. I got ready for the day, made my coffee, got into my workout clothes, got in the car, and I am now sitting outside of Target because we had a bit of a change of plans. I was at the real estate office uploading my meal prep video for today. I'm filming this video on Monday, and I got a text from the Jazzercise instructor that apparently she has pulled a muscle in her back, and there was no substitute to teach the 8 a.m. class today, which is a bit of a bummer. I literally was going to just go home and forego working out today, but then I decided to hop on the sign-up service that we use for classes because of COVID. We have to sign up ahead of time because there's a limited number of people per class. And I saw that there was an opening for the 930 class. So I decided to just go ahead and sign up for that and just kill some time between now, which is almost 8 a.m. and the 930 class. So I'm outside of Target. And as you know, we're remodeling our bathroom. So I'm just gonna go peruse Target for a little bit, just kind of shop around, kind of kill some time before I head to the class. So I have finished my coffee, so I may grab a little something to eat here. Normally I don't eat before the eight o'clock class, but because now it's not till 9.30, which will put me out to almost 11 before I get home, I feel like I may need a little something. So I'm gonna see kind of what they have here at Target, and of course if I get anything, I will let you guys know. Also, I have a new, as you saw, pre-workout and I am excited to give it a try. So what I'm going to do is tell you guys a little bit about the pre-workout. I'll roll that footage here and then you'll see me taking the pre-workout prior to Jazzercise and then I'll give you what my opinion on whether or not I liked it. So here is the information on my new pre-workout. So this is my new pre-workout from the Omino company. This is the Perform. You guys, I'm so excited to try this. You're going to see it in real time because I'm going to take this today when I head to Jazzercise. So basically what this is, is it's basically designed to improve your overall athletic performance because it boosts your peak muscle strength during exercise, enhances your focus, kind of keeps you going, reduces fatigue and dehydration, and minimizes your recovery time. So all things that we need in a good pre-workout, you can also take Perform as a post-workout. So it's also great to use post-workout as well. So what you do is you dissolve it in about eight 
ounces of water. You begin drinking it about 30 minutes prior to working out. You can even consume it while you're working out. You can have it after you're working out. Basically why we use products like Perform or pre-workouts is because when we exercise, our muscle fibers are broken down and the neurotransmitter balance is disrupted in our brain. So that makes us tired, weakened performance, slowed reflexes and poor decision making. So this is going to help trigger the muscle protein synthesis, which is the building of new muscle fibers. It also includes EAAs. They've been shown in clinical trials to have four times the peak muscle response. So Perform is for strength, focus, and endurance for peak athletic performance. And so I'm gonna take this again today prior to going to Jazzercise. They do have some other products on their website that I wanted to share with you guys as well if you were interested in maybe checking out some of their other products. So here is their entire line of products on their website. So the purple container is called Trim and that is targeted fat loss. Now I will tell you right now that I don't believe this. I don't believe in targeted fat loss. In fact, you can't lose fat in targeted areas. Now I don't know a lot about this product, but this is one that I probably would not purchase. And then there is Life, which does physical function and strength. So I think that that's great as well. And then Heal, this one I'm interested in. This is Heal Recovery from Surgery or Injury. And then I really am excited about this Purity one. It reduces liver and fat levels. So it's going to kind of help just purify your body, kind of like a detox detox and then of course perform now this is the one that i have this is the one that i will repurchase but i wanted to show you guys as well some of the other products that are carried in this line perform is also vegan and gmo friendly so just a quick recap this increases peak strength and endurance during exercise improves all your cognitive functions focus and concentration decreases recovery time which i need because i'm always sore and tired after jazzercise because it quickly rebuilds your muscle tissue and actually it's three times more effective on a gram for gram basis than any protein source so again you can have this pre and post workout so let's take it and see how it tastes and see how it performs So first off, I'm gonna look at some towels because we're changing all the colors in our bathroom. So I'm gonna take a quick peek at Target's towel selection. Now I'm on the hunt for a toothbrush holder that'll match our new bathroom. So they have a lot at Target. So I'm definitely thinking this balance for the bathroom, perfect coloring. <laughs> Target haul I grabbed just a couple of things I got this really cute artificial plant I think the white will look really good in the bathroom when I get home today I'll show you kind of our color scheme but this is only five dollars and then look at how cute this little silver glittery tree is with the wood base three dollars in the dollar spot I also grabbed a two pack of clips I broke my other one traveling to San Diego it just got the teeth lopped off during transit on the airplane. So I picked up another two pack of those. You saw me grab the wax melts. I picked up those two that I showed you, the balance that I showed you. And then on my way out, I saw my favorite Mrs. Meyer sent for Christmas, Iowa pine. This is dish soap and we are almost out of dish soap. So perfect timing. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up this bar to eat on my way to Jazzercise. It's 847 right now. This is the Be Hue Keto Bar Vegan Protein Bar with non-GMO ingredients. One gram of sugar. This is the chocolate chip cookie dough. It's small, but it's only 130 calories. So I'll put the points here on the screen and I'm going to eat this. I'll let you guys know what I think. This was in the refrigerated section. So it is a refrigerated bar. So here is what it looks like and let's give it a taste. All right, here we go. True test. Hmm, that's actually really good. The texture is really, really good. It has big, big chunks of chocolate. And then the cookie dough texture is nice and smooth. It's not very sweet. What I mainly taste is the chocolate chips, but it's good. It definitely tastes like cookie dough. So I'm gonna eat this before I work out. So it is 9.05. I'm gonna start taking this pre-workout. It says to take it about a half an hour before. It's 25 minutes before my class, so I'm gonna add some water, shake it up, and try this and let you guys know what I think. Alrighty, 
Here it is, Blue Raspberry Perform. I'm really excited about the amino acids piece of this as well, so let's give it a shot. Wow, that is delicious. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Very mild blue raspberry flavor, but perfect flavor. Sweet, no weird aftertaste that sometimes you get from pre-workout. Wow, this is actually really, really delicious. I'll let you guys know how I feel after my workout with using this versus my normal pre-workout. So, so far, 10 out of 10, it's delicious. All right, workout is done. You can see I'm pretty nasty sweaty, but it was a killer workout. Let me just tell you guys, that new pre-workout is amazing. It is so good. Now, I love the My Adventure to Fit. I'll pop a picture in right here of the one that I generally use. But this one is just as good. And it has amino acids, which is really important for recovery and sustainability for your workout. So I loved it. Love, love, loved it. It also comes in grape flavor. So it has blue, raspberry, and grape. Of course, it's linked down below for you guys with a discount. Yeah, I love it. Definitely, definitely, definitely will be repurchasing that. Definitely on the days that I feel like I might drag through my workout, that would definitely be a great option. So if you need a good pre-workout with good ingredients and amino acids, check that one out. It is time for me to take some BCAAs. These are my Beyond Raw. This is the Strawberry Banana. You guys know I take BCAAs after my workout. This also helps with anabolic recovery and joint recovery and muscle soreness. Love this as well. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll link it down below. So I'm home from Jazzercise. Oh, he was right here, ready to have lunch with me. So I'm gonna have my lunch. I am going to have my meal prep, but with my meal prep for some extra protein, just because I didn't really have a breakfast, I am going to have a serving of these Tyson air fried chicken breast nuggets. You can have 85 grams or five pieces. So I'm going to go ahead on my food scale here and weigh out the 85 grams. Sorry, you can't see that very well. We have a skylight, so it always puts a weird kind of glow on our counter, but we're gonna go for 85 grams, which should be about five pieces. Oh, there we go, 86 grams. So that's four good-sized nuggets. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those here into my air fryer. This is my Copper Chef, you guys know how much I Love this air fryer. I will link it down below. I picked it up on Amazon. It's awesome, but especially for one or two people or a small amount of food, it's so cute and compact. So I'm gonna get this going and then I'll be back to show you my lunch. All right, so here's lunch. I'm starving. It's 11.15. So this is my meal prep. This is the Autumn Glow Salad. It's quinoa, sweet potato, roasted, cauliflower, apples. It does have a dressing that you can pair with it. I chose not to make that but it's really good, you guys. It's very flavorful just by itself. This recipe is on my website and it was in my meal prep posted on Monday. So check that out. So I'm gonna do this for six smart points. And then I have 85 grams or one serving of the air fried chicken nuggets for five points. I am going to dip them in a little bit of this French's honey mustard. This actually has good ingredients and I love it. So this little bit is an extra zero points. And then I want to give you guys a water update. So you guys know how much I love my gallon jug. Because I worked out, I'm already down to the 6 p.m. mark once I finish this small bottle. So I fill my gallon at night, put it in my fridge, and then I fill this small one up throughout the day. That way I can make sure I get in a full gallon because it's measured out here in the big one, but it's just less cumbersome using the smaller bottle. So both of these are from Amazon, super affordable. I'll link them down below for you. So I'm gonna have water and my lunch, and my lunch is a total of 11 smart points. So I have to leave again to go pick up my coffee that I ordered from my local roaster, as well as drive about a half an hour each way to do a final walkthrough and grab keys on a property. So I'll take you guys with me, but I'm gonna make a protein shake to take on the road because I wanna get back in time to make dinner. I have a really good dinner recipe planned. So in my protein shake, I'm going to do one point or one cup worth of the great value unsweetened almond milk. I'm going to do one scoop of the Live Well Plant Protein in vanilla. I love this protein powder so much, you guys. And the vanilla is only one point for one scoop. It has 16 grams of amino acids, 17 grams of complete protein, 
Most whey protein powders are not complete, so I love that about LiveWell. Two grams of natural sugar. It is organic, non-GMO, and again, this is the vanilla. It is also free from soy, gluten, and dairy. And if you guys are skeptics of plant protein, because I was, I don't like the chalkiness and grittiness. This does not have that. It is so good. It's my all-time favorite protein. You can see this one's almost gone. That's how much I love it. So I'm gonna do one scoop of that to get in my 17 grams of protein. I have a bag here of just some frozen kale. I'm gonna pop that in for some greens. And then I'm gonna do some of this mango, banana, and strawberry blend. I do not count for blended fruit. I do count the calories, but I do not count points for blended fruit. So my protein shake will only be two points. So let's make a snack. All right, so here's my protein shake. It looks so good. Let's blend her up. She's not the prettiest, but it's so good. You can see I tried it. It is so good, you guys. You don't taste the greens, I promise, and it's just a really good way to get in some extra greens. So definitely take advantage. Order some Live Well protein powder. It's affordable, and it's delicious. So this is my two smart point afternoon snack. I just picked up my coffee. My car is going to smell amazing. And while I was there, I did decide to go ahead and grab a coffee. Basically, it's four shots of espresso, two regular, two decaf with a literal splash of cream. So it's zero points. I also brought my bottle of water. Once I finish this, that will be a gallon of water, my friends. And I did bring a snack. If I do eat it, I'll let you know, of course, but let's make a little road trip. We have about a 35 minute drive. All right, we're almost there. It's just beautiful out here where this property is. It's a 55 and over community, but everything is on acreage or property. So it's really, really nice. All right, I'm here. I just moved this little pole out of the way to drive in. It is not plowed, darn it. Okay, so I am here basically to grab the keys out of the real estate lockbox and do the final walkthrough. Just make sure everything is cleaned out, that there was nothing left behind. And basically what this is, is it's a five acre parcel with an enclosure that you can park a motor home in. Ugh, another stick to move. All right, we're back in business. So basically what it is, is it's kind of a, here, let me show you. There's a covered area where you can park an RV and I believe this is going to be a summer home for this family. It's beautiful, you guys. I mean, it's very private. So there's this enclosure area here where you park your trailer. There's clean outs for septic or for sewer and everything. And then there's also this building here that you can make into livable space. So I'm going to go grab keys. We're going to do a final walkthrough. So this is the bottom floor. So it's plumbed and everything to make this into livable space. If you wanted to make it an apartment or a place to live other than your trailer parked under. So it looks like there's a shower and everything. Okay, things look in their place. So whenever we do a final walkthrough, we just wanna make sure that there's no garbage or anything left behind and that it's cleaned up. And basically it looks as it did when we showed the property. So this is the bottom level, looks good. Let's head upstairs. All right, and the upstairs. So this too is ready to make into usable space. Yeah, looks great, nice and clean. Nothing left behind, just like we like to see it. And here's the property I just wanna show you guys. It's so, so beautiful out here. It's also a gravel driveway that goes completely around the whole property. So that's really nice if you have cars or boats, but it's gorgeous. Five acres, $250,000. Mommy's home. Yay, mom. Let's get our treats. Mommy's home. Let's do it. We got our Boyce's oven baked cheese. Oh, buddy. Here you go, honey. For dinner tonight, I am making the ultimate chicken noodle soup. It is cold here. We have snow. This is comfort food, and I'm so excited. It is so WW friendly. You get a large serving for the points, and it's everything. It's your vegetables, your protein, your carbs, everything in one. So let me show you what's in dinner. You're going to need 10 cups of chicken broth or a little over two large 
cartons. I do have a partial carton in my refrigerator, but you need 10 cups total. I'm using the Fiber Gourmet Pasta. As you guys know, this is our very, very favorite pasta. It is actually only two points for two ounces. Regular pasta is five to six points for two ounces. So you can see here that this is 100 calories versus 210. 25 grams of fiber versus two grams of fiber, 17 net carbs versus 41, and it has seven grams of protein per serving, and it's delicious. It is our all, all time, very favorite pasta. It's really all that I buy. I do order this off of Net Trition's website. They have the most affordable price. They have other shapes besides the spaghetti or the linguine. There's elbows, penne, and rotini. I will link Net Trition down below. Highly Highly recommend, so many of you have reached out to me and have fallen in love with this pasta and you can't beat two points for two ounces, which is a lot of pasta. Also, you're going to need oil, minced garlic, salt and pepper, thyme and parsley, lemon juice, one onion, about two pounds of chicken thighs. Now you can use chicken breast. It will save you on some points, but I'm gonna use chicken thighs because like I said, it's really low point as it is some carrots, and some celery. So let's get started. You're going to need a very large stock pot. You can see this is quite the large pot. In here, I have one tablespoon of avocado oil and two pounds of chicken thighs. This was a little over two pounds, so I'm just going to put this in the freezer for another meal. I am going to season this with some salt and pepper, and we're gonna let the chicken cook through and get nice and browned. While the chicken's cooking, I'm going to dice my onion. I have two ribs of celery here, and it says four medium carrots, but this is a big guy. So I'm gonna do it these three carrots. Peel, cut the carrots, cut the celery, cut the onion. Once your chicken starts to cook, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the pan. It is not cooked completely through. You can see that it's still fairly raw in the middle. That is what we want because we're actually going to return it back to the pan. We wanna reserve about two tablespoons of the drippings. We're going to add the onion, carrots, and celery. We're also going to add a big scoop of minced garlic and we're gonna let this cook until it starts to soften. Here's my broth. I have two large boxes and then about half of this bone broth from Kettle and Fire. So we are going to go ahead and add in all of our chicken broth to the veggies. And then we are going to allow the broth to come to a boil. Chicken broth is in. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some thyme. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in my pot. Just give it a quick stir. And again, once this comes to a boil, we are actually going to go ahead and add back in our chicken and it's going to get nice and tender just kind of simmering in the boiling broth once the broth comes to a boil we're just going to add back in our chicken and we are going to let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes we want to make sure the chicken is cooked completely through and then we're actually going to remove it again to add in the noodles so it's been about 20 minutes the chicken is done so i'm just going to remove it from the pot and we're just going to set it on a fresh plate and then once we have all the chicken out we'll add in the bag of noodles once the chicken's removed, we're going to add in the bag of noodles and we're gonna let those cook down. Once this has cooled enough to the touch, we'll chop it into small bite-sized pieces. And then when the noodles are done, we'll return the chicken to the pot. My noodles are done. You can see here that I just chopped up the chicken thighs into small pieces. So I'm just going to return all of the chicken to the stock pot. This smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice, and then I'm going to add in just a shake of parsley. Give this another quick stir. I'm gonna let it simmer for just a couple of minutes. I want the chicken to really soak up all those flavors, but this smells 
and looks like the ultimate chicken noodle soup. And the soup is done. I can't wait to dig into this. Like I said, it's so cold. I mean, so cold <laughs> that I can't wait to have some hot chicken noodle soup. So this entire stock pot makes 10 servings. So it's about a cup per serving. I'm gonna get this into a bowl. I'm gonna pair it with some crackers and I'll be back to share points and calories. All right, here's dinner. So I have a bowl of the ultimate chicken noodle soup. It is five points on all plans. Now, if you are in purple and you use a zero point noodle, then it is only two smart points on the purple plan. Again, if you use a zero point noodle, otherwise this entire bowl of soup is five points. And then I'm going to have five of the saltine crackers for two smart points. So my dinner is seven smart points. So here's my dessert tonight. I'm having the two good in mango hibiscus with one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's caramel apple granola. It's so good. Just that little bit of a crunch in the yogurt. So this is my three smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today and that really good dinner recipe. Again, that is on my website, which is linked down in the description box. Also in the description box are the links and discount codes for the items I shared with you today, as well as everything else that I truly, truly love. You're also going to find my nutrition coaching website and of course the link to join us over on my trial page on Facebook. We would absolutely love to have you. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you'd give it a big thumbs up. And lastly, subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I really liked having you guys along with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!